Hey everybody, it's Dina Rica with the Creativity Cave and I am so super excited to be stamping with you today. Yay! I have a really cool project that I came up with for a girlfriend of mine. In fact, I don't even have the sample here because I gave it to her. But don't you worry, I already took pictures. It's on my blog. In fact, um, this might be the second take of this video because the first one was sideways. Um, and I said, I actually, during that take, taping, I had to go to my computer and bring it up so I could see the color combination I used because I couldn't remember which colors I ended up with because when I made it originally, I had tried two different things. So anyway, I'm really excited to share this with you. I hope you can feel the giddiness in my voice. <laughs> I'm going to use the stamp set Sweet Cupcake because it is so awesome for birthday cards. And my friend that just celebrated her birthday loves cupcakes. We have a really fun cupcake shop in town called Scratch Cupcakery and they have really yummy cupcakes. I think personally that the frosting is the best part, but um, no judgment on whether you like the cupcake or the frosting better. <laughs> So this is a really fun stamp set, but I find it is a little tricky to line these up so they're completely perfect. And every once in a while, Dina can be kind of like off the charts anal about things. It's just a few things because I'm generally pretty lazy and could care less. I shouldn't say I could care less. I'm just pretty laid back. But I want to share with you how I made... Um, well, I won't show you how I made it, but I'm going to show you the stamp positioner that I made that will help us create all of these amazing projects. So first of all, I'm going to, well, that is not what I wanted. I'm going to start with some background paper here. Um, I'm going to stamp my, I have a candle from this stamp set, this one right here, and I'm going to stamp it in crumb cake going across my crumb cake. Uh, this is a quarter sheet of cardstock trimmed just a little bit. All the dimensions and um, supplies and all of that good stuff, links to my online store so you can purchase all of that is on my blog post and you can find the link in the description of this video. And then you can, whew, that was like crisis averted. Okay. I hate what, do, do you ever drop stamps on your projects and then you're just so mad because it was perfect and then you messed it up? Okay, so here is my stamping. Isn't that fun? And you can see I stamp them kind of in different directions. That's so that if they're not perfectly lined up, no one will know. See, I told you I'm laid back about certain things. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside and I'm actually going to bring in the one I did in the first take of the video because I adhered this piece of cardstock and um, since I am a lazy stamper, I didn't want to have to cut another piece of this. <laughs> Could that sound any whinier, by the way? So anyway, um, so this is the one I did in the first take. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, so all I did was adhere this. By the way, all of that information is in the... Um, is on my blog post, but this is from the Cupcakes and Carousels uh, printed paper pack, which is in the Occasions catalog, and I love this paper. It's so pretty and fun and colorful and patterny, and ugh, I like it. I like it. Can you see the excitement in my hands? Um, I'm very expressive when I talk. If you've watched any of my Facebook live videos where you see my face, you know I like to make lots of expressions, but it's hard to do with just my hands. I used to start my videos out with my face, but then I stopped doing that because um, it took too much time and I had too much stamping to do. And, you know, you know, I always like telling stories. So anyway, OK, so there we go with that. Now I have a scrap piece of cardstock that I'm going to. In fact, I got to grab another one that I'm going to stamp on for. Here we go for my cupcake because we're going to make an awesome cupcake. And um, let me just trim this a little bit. So it fits. So I mentioned my stamp positioning tool. So I made a stamp positioning tool for myself. It just cost maybe five or six bucks with all of the stuff that I have included in here. It's just a stamp case, some foam, uh, fun foam sheets, and a piece of stainless steel that I got at the like Lowe's type store. Um, and then some magnets. And you can make this. I have a video that shows how I exactly how I made it. And um, you can check that out if you want. But I like this because the stamp positioning tools that are out there are just a little spendy. Not going to lie. No, no shaming. I'm just saying they're spendy. I'd rather stamp, spend my money on stamps and fun stuff. So I made this. Now what I'm going to do 
So I'll uh, try and link that video of how I made it back onto my blog post for this card. So you can see it if you want. Anyway, so I'm going to stamp off the first layer of ink and then stamp the second layer on here so it's stamped off. So this is the first impression of ink. This is the second. You can see it's lighter. Now I did the first one on my stamp just because it's a little easier. The second one, though, is my piece right here. Now whenever I'm doing this with this thing, I kind of like putting it and giving it a little cleaning, even on both sides, just because um, it's winter. I'm wearing a sweater. I have a dog that sheds like she's trying to make some sort of point. And she's sweet, but oh, the hair. Anyway, I and I know that might sound gross, but I don't know. I hope you won't judge. <laughs> I don't like judge. We don't judge here at the Creativity Cave, though sometimes we should, like ourselves is what I mean by that. Because um, my, oh, this dog, I love her, Sophie. She's the sweetest thing, but when she eats my stamp projects and sheds all over my life, it kind of drives me nutty. Okay, so then I stamped this. You can see I positioned it, and look at how wonderful that looks. Okay, I see it's off a little bit. The first one I did was truly perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, but I did get a little glob of ink right there because I pushed too hard, so all right, whatever. Now I'm going to do one more layer. This is, because this is a three-step stamping set. The third layer is going to be with Watermelon Wonder. Again, I'm going to take this piece and clean it off in case there's any fuzzies floating around. And then I will line this back up. You know what my problem was? I didn't stick my butt out when I was lining it up. Live and learn. I mean, you know, that is the like first rule in stamping. Okay, so I've positioned that on there. I've picked it up. And now I'm going to ink it up with Watermelon Wonder ink. If you can't remember all this, again, it's on my blog. And don't forget to subscribe while you're there because I would hate for you to miss any more of my stamping awesomeness. Oh, look at that. So cute. Okay, so then we're going to take and stamp. Um, and just to make this a little easier, I'm going to cut this off. We're going to we're going to die cut this piece in a second, but we're going to do the icing next. So let's put this piece on here, and we're going to get rid of our little stamp. And um, the next piece. Oh, I should not be doing this. I'm putting it on top of the ink pads that I need to use next. Okay, so let's close this up because I know how verklempt you guys get when I leave ink pads open on my table. Okay, so for the next one, I'm going to start with a pink pirouette base or this solid image. And also, you know, again, just not to belabor this point, but photopolymer is sticky. So it really wants to stick to things, especially dust. And this is a really solid stamp. And how many times have you gotten like a little speck of something on here and it drives you bonkers I was gonna say something else but it was inappropriate so I won't okay so there is my solid um icing the background piece I'm gonna close up my pink pirouette and move on to flirty flamingo and then I'm gonna do my second image again just a quick cleaning we just want it to be perfect okay so this time the butt is out getting down in there and I'm making sure that it's all lined up perfect oh fuzz alert I see a fuzz and it's black it's from my sweater darn it oh and I see another fuzz so I'm gonna clean it again I think it's also because the air is so dry at least where I live um, in the winters with the heaters running here it gets really dry in our houses and um, so that kind of causes some problems Sorry my head's in the shot, but you know, I gotta get my perfect positioning here. My butt was out, so I think we're gonna be okay this time. And then sometimes the piece wants to stick. It's okay. Maybe I should put like one of the stronger ones down here. There we go. Okay, now this time I'm going to stamp off, oops. Oh my gosh, could I have gotten any more ink on my thing? It doesn't matter though. I'm gonna stamp off this layer of ink quick so I happen to I think have a little piece of typing paper over here maybe maybe not grab it 
going to stamp that down just so I could get rid of a layer of ink and then I'm going to go full strength right over the top. <laughs> okay, then, but wait, we're not done. We're also going to stamp the most detailed one on top. You guessed it, we're cleaning it first and then we're throwing it on top. Oh my gosh, I think the fuzzy problem is actually on my stamp cleaner. <laughs> I just found a huge fuzz. Okay, I got it. It's all good. So then again, lining it up. Get your head down in on it. So it's perfect and you're happy. Pick it up. Ink it up. This time we're going to go full strength for Flirty Flamingo. I always like to verify I've got the right color. That always makes things turn out better. <gasps> Lovely. Okay, so there we go. There is our icing. Three steps. Now I'll clean this with a wet wipe and whatnot later. Okay, I'm going to die cut these. I'll be right okay. back. Okay, goodness gracious, it took me a minute to find these framelits. <laughs> my office is a little disaster right now. Did you see my crafter mat, crafter math <laughs> photo I posted um, after my Facebook Live on Monday? It got a little crazy in here. Plus, I've also been working, I've had club projects, because um, I have club this week, and I also have an all-day event on Saturday that I've been prepping for. So it's been like a flurry of activity here at the creativity cave this week okay so now i have my two cute adorable pieces we're going to set these aside we're going to use them in a minute i have also gone ahead and die cut wish this is from the blushing bride glimmer paper pack and i'm just gonna use my poking my poking device to pull this out of the framelit so you can see I've got the little pieces to poke out you know glimmer paper um, kind of has that weird backing and sometimes those little pieces don't like to release right away so we'll just convince them although it would probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to run this across my um, my dye brush but I didn't do that oh well okay now the other thing we have to create for this is a rosette so what I'm going to do is I cut two strips. This is from the same uh, Cupcakes and Carousels printed paper pack. I cut two strips and I'm going to score them every quarter of an inch. So that's every second line on here. And I'll use, you know, my little scoring tool. I prefer the small, more blunt end than the wider end. And that's because we're doing kind of real tight... Um, score lines you know there's not a lot of space between them so I kind of like it to be a little crisper score line it's up to you though whatever you like sometimes people prefer one thing over the other and like we have said many times we don't judge here at the creativity cave ever unless we're judging ourselves and then sometimes we're harsh but <laughs> okay so I scored all of these and I actually did it on two pieces you can see here's my second one then what I'm going to do is accordion fold all of these score lines and I'll do the same on the second one and then I'll glue the ends together. Okay, I like to pinch them and they're all together and then that gives you really nice creases. Okay, so I'm going to take some liquid glue and just put, I like to make sure I'm doing the right end to the right end because I might have messed up on that before, just maybe. So I'll glue those together and make sure they're nice and sturdy like so. Then what I'm going to do is take a circle punch and it doesn't really matter what size punch. You don't want like a giant one. You don't want a mini one. I'd say something in the one and a half to one and three quarters range would be perfect. Um, and what we're going to do with it is use it as a base to attach our, um, to attach our little rosette together. Okay. So what I'm going to do is glue the other two sides together just like we did the first side and I like to use liquid glue because it does really stick well once it's once it's tacky 
<laughs> um, but it also is very permanent. And then Fast Fuse... It, fast fuse works really well, but on such a skinny little strip like this, sometimes fast fuse can be temperamental. Just on a rosette, I mean. Okay, so I've got that on there. That's glued. It's good because I got glue all over myself, which means I used too much, but we're, we're, we're all right. Okay, now we're going to fold that down into our rosette. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I could use liquid glue for this step, but actually I prefer fast fuse. Um, you can certainly use liquid glue. In fact, before Fast Fuse came out and I made rosettes, I did use liquid glue that just takes a little longer for it to set up. This is pretty instantaneous. Now, I completely covered that circle. And then I'm going to position this rosette right over the top and stick it down. Now, I personally like throwing something like a punch over the top because then that'll just get it set up right. Okay. Now... To finish this card off, I'm going to adhere my layer to my crumb cake card. I just have a half sheet of cardstock here. And then, so we've got that on there. And then I'm going to position these two pieces on top of the rosette that I'm going to place right here. Okay, so this should be ready to go now. Uh, we are all committed. And then I will go ahead and actually put a bit of fast fuse on here, a few layers, so that it will stick really well. And that is on there. Good. Yes. Okay. Then what I will do is take and position this over the top. And again, I'm going to put lots of fast fuse on here just so that it has a lot of space to, to stick to that rosette. And then this one, I'm actually going to pop up with dimensionals. So I'll put several dimensionals on here again, just so that there's more um, sticky touching the actual, nor like I would never normally use dimensionals. I'm kind of cheap that way. But um, I just want to make sure there's plenty sticking to this cupcake top on the rosette because you know, you just have the peaks that it's sticking to. Okay, how's that? Goodness gracious. This is like a sacrilege. Six of these on one card. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I've got this on top. And look, it's so cute and popped up. Everybody's happy. Yay. But I also want to add a little more shimmer. So I'm going to take my clear wink of Stella. And you know, I got to go all over my cupcake icing. Because everybody knows the best cupcakes have sparkly icing. Then I'm also going to smack it on here and get some spritzes going because you also know I like to spritz. Okay, I just like smacking this against something. So can you see all the spritzies on there? So cute. Okay, now again, I'm not a huge glitter person, but this just kind of works. Okay, so I'm going to stamp or adhere wish on here. And so I'm going to do basically the this portion of it with liquid glue and you know this is the perfect circumstance please don't fall I, you know do you stack stuff up on your table and you wonder why it falls off okay i don't i know why it falls off <laughs> but this is my silicone mat and i'm going to pull out my little spongy thing and then i'm going to sponge glue on the center portion of this word so that it will stick to my cupcake. Okay, and this is such a great thing on any kind of detailed thinlets that you die cut. All right, so wish. Oh, isn't that awesome? Okay, now for those of you who are really anal, check this out. You can get the eye from here and glue that on top. Normally I wouldn't do such a thing because as previously mentioned, I'm kind of lazy, but, whoa, get one teensy dot of glue. Come on glue, come on out. All right, do you see that teeny little dot of glue? And then I'm gonna position this right on top. There, wish, and let's scooch it up just a touch. There we go. 
Isn't that cute? Okay, so Wish is on the outside of our cupcake. The inside is super cute and sweet. In this set of uh, cupcake dies, the Wish is in there, by the way, as is this little label. I die cut one of those. Hopefully it's still on the table. It is. Whew. Oh, I just realized something I forgot on the front. Well, we'll see if I can fix it. So I'm just going to adhere that right to my card. I'll kind of center it better, though. That looks good. And then I have a little scrap of paper. And I think I'm going to use my flirty flamingo. And then I have the happy birthday stamp that is in this set someplace. I'm going to stamp it on here. Ooh. Happy birthday. Nice and straight. I'll trim this. I could use my triple banner, but I'll use this discontinued punch that I have because it's quick and easy here. This is a... I think it was called Biddy Banner or maybe just Banner Punch. It was discontinued a year ago or so, um, but lots of you have it. And then it was on the clearance rack for a while. It's not anymore. It's not available, but it is really handy. And then I'm just going to take one of these edge pieces and put that under here. And then we'll put this right over the top of that label. Isn't that awesome? So I hope you like this card. Now, I did forget one thing. And that is, oops, not that piece. That's a different piece of glimmer paper. I did mean to actually put a little sliver of this glimmer paper on under here, but I think between my video not showing up quite right, because I had to re redo it. We could add it right there. Let's do that. You'll see on my blog it was actually in a little bit different place, but um, you could certainly add it wherever you want. But I just kind of like that extra little bit of shimmer shimmer and glimmer on there so we'll get that on there just like that okay isn't that a fun card sorry this video is so long but i hope you are at least giggling along with me anyway so enjoy thank you for stamping with me and come on back tomorrow i can't wait to stamp with you again bye guys